Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is AD the Cigar Man back for another cigar review. It's been a while, but I am still here. So I'm be smoking on the the floor that lost on Intellect by uh, my father's cigars. You can see it right here. It's still up in the um, wrapper. I haven't taken out the wrapper yet. I just like looking at it. But it's definitely about to get on smoke in a few seconds. This is a um this this cigar is actually um nickel on Rogan and the binder and filler is Nicaraguan and the wrapper is uh a Echo um, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. They say a nice um uh, Maduro um wrapper uh, sun grown. So it's time to light this bab up. But before I light up, I gotta pour me some some beer. Yeah, I'm, I'm drinking beer in this video right here. Oh, look. Local buzz here in the state of Texas. I actually drink this beer a lot. It's like some local buzz on rye and gold in the air with a little hit of uh, honey in it. Made here in Dallas, Texas, matter of fact. Yeah, it's like I do drink a lot of Texas beer. Like everywhere you go at, you're going to find it. So since I'm living here now, I'm out just try out. Yeah, like I said, that beer got like a um, like some um, a sweet honey in it, and like, that's some awesome beer. Like I don't know if they sell it on outside of Texas, but I know they everywhere in the stores around here. But it's time to light this bad boy up. Gonna take out the wrapper right now, right now. I'm doing a regular cut. What I like just from lighting the cigar, I'm starting to get like like some warm. Uh, this is never like real wood. That's some lighter. That's my first time on this book of the scissors. Oh, nice. Like, real nice on the jaw. Right off the bat, this cigar is definitely like full flavor. And I mean, full flavor. And I'm getting like a little hint of um, like on um, earthiness, um, nuttiness, um, bacon spice, and like like the, the spice is really hitting the, the my, my my lips right now. See how it tastes with this beer. Yeah, nice, nice little combination this and this beer right here. So I'm gonna let the cigar burn down some more. And I'm gonna be back. Hey, you too, I am back. <clears throat> With the Floor de Las uh, and Tell Us by my father's cigar. Now, I've got to also tell you this cigar is also on box press. This is a box press cigar. A like Toro 6x52 shape box press. Um, so far, like um, like I said, this is definitely a full flavored cigar. I'm getting a lot of um, flavor, basically the same. Like It's really like the, um, the oak earthiness, um, that nuttiness, and that, that spice is still um, like real like uh, heavy on the cigarette. Like I said, this cigar is definitely on full flavor. That 
the real smooth on the um, retro hair. But I'm gonna see um, how smooth it stays throughout the cigar. Cause it's still like, just lit up. So I, I'm gonna see the more the cigar burn like with the retro hair, stay smooth or really hit you. Yeah, this cigar definitely is like on the, the dark side. Now, now I'm getting a little hint of um, dark on um, cocoa. Yeah, like the dark cocoa is definitely starting to pick up. Like, like the more the cigar burn. Yeah, so far, like the main flavor notes is um, dark cocoa, um, dark chocolate, and it's, and it's real nutty. So more, more, more of the dark cocoa, dark chocolate, and and and, and, and nuttiness. But I will tell you, this definitely says you want to have some food in your stomach. Yeah, this say this cigar is definitely a, a full body cigar right here. And make sure you have some water on the side. I'm definitely about to um, pop that bottle open. Okay, so far so good. So with that being said, I'm gonna let the cigar burn down some more. I'm come back and get some more notes. Hopefully this, this wind will slow down. Like it's real windy out here today, y'all. So sorry get a lot of wind in the, up in this video. It is windy out here today. Okay, you too, I am back, 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 back. back. With this cigar, the Floyd De Los and Tell Us by my father's cigar. And just like I thought, right? <clears throat> the more the cigar burn, the more like full it get, like for its flavor, you know, strength. Like this is definitely full body right here. Like even like on the uh, retro here. Like when I first say it might be a little light. This like the, like the retro hair definitely starting like the uh, pick up now. But like the flavor notes is basically still the same on the cigar. Like that dark chocolate, that cocoa and real nuttiness. The the, the spice is kind of like um the, the spice kind of like start like to go away. But it's real like it's like this cigar is like um heavy on the the, the, uh, the dark on uh, the dark cocoa and dark chocolate um side. But so far, this, this cigar definitely awesome. Like I will say that, like no complaints. Like like um, the, the burn being amazing throughout. Um, the the, um, the draw being excellent throughout. And even with the cigar, like the more you smoke the cigar, like the the burn become more and more. Like it start burning great. And this beer is definitely like. That beer is definitely like pairing well with the cigar. Right? But um, just like I said before, just make sure you just make sure you have some food on your stomach that be before you um, smoke the cigar. Right? It will definitely get you.
said, so I'm about to go get my final ratings for the cigar. It look like about to rain in the few, so I wanna make sure I finish, finish up before this, uh, this rain come. But on my scale, one through five, I'm gonna get the cigar a, a you know what, I'm, I'm gonna get the cigar a, a four. Only way I, only way to get a, the only reason why I didn't get a five because of the all the, 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 the flavor. Like I said, it's really like dark chocolate cocoa throughout. But it, it was missing like the certain like taste that I like for my uh, for my palate. And I was waiting for that to come, but never did. But but the uh, but everything else been excellent about the cigar. Like the the uh, draw been good, the the um, burn been good throughout, and everything else been great. It just um just like that just like that, 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 that the one flavor that I actually like in my cigars didn't never come. But besides that, no complaints. And this cigar is not that expensive. This cigar is like about like between like nine between nine to ten dollars. Um, depend on where you get it from. I I pay like about like um about like nine sixty five for this cigar. And like I said, I got, like I said, I got this cigar from like a local B and M. I think it's from um I think it's from this local uh, um um wine and some spirit place that I used to go buy my um my, my um beverage from and then and they don't sell cigars so I think that's where I got this one from but this cigar definitely awesome box worthy hey I, I will buy a box so on four um, box worthy, yes. And like I said, I, I, I definitely buy another one of these. But like I say, make sure you have some food on your stomach before you all uh, just smoke this cigar. Right here. Cause it's definitely starting to um, pick up. So with that being said, I'm gonna finish uh, smoking this cigar right here. Finish sipping on my beer before this rain come. And you too wanna to say appreciation for watching my videos, family. Don't forget to like, comment, and, and uh, sub to my channel. My page is still growing. Like I said, I'm still gonna do some different things. I'm gonna um, start, uh, me and my wife is working on some things. Like I said, she's a chef, she can cook. So we'll start like um, recording her um, cooking. So I don't know if I'm gonna put it on my channel or she start her own page. So whenever she decides to do that, I will let y'all know and put the link in. And I'm gonna put the link of her YouTube channel on in my uh, under my video. So just make sure you go over there to check her YouTube channel out. So whenever she start doing that, I will definitely let you know. And I think I'm gonna start doing some things too, cause most of the time when I be on this patio, I be I be on uh, grilling a lot. And then so I'm gonna start kind of like, you know, um, adding like me grilling and when I'm grilling to my um, videos, especially since the, the weather, you know, a few weeks ago, it was like snowing around And now since then, it, it, it been like in the 70s and 80s every day. That's amazing. But I'm not complaining, cause I can't stand cold, cold weather. You know, I'm, I'm from South Carolina. So me and cold weather do not get along. So with that man said, YouTube, it's been real. And like I always say, if you plan on going anywhere, just make sure you be safe and stay safe. Peace out.